Hey everyone, this is Michael again, and welcome to my review of tonight's edition of SmackDown. And I thought tonight's SmackDown, though it was an okay show, uh, not, you know, not good, not great by any means. Uh, was it a good show? No. Uh, I thought it was a little bit better than last night's Raw, but it was just an okay show, uh, SmackDown tonight. Uh, but the show opened with Jinder Mahal and the Singh brothers out there. Uh, Jinder says that he has gotten nothing but disrespect and that he should be rendered as the WWE champion. And he goes on to say that he is no fool and that, you know, somebody must pay the price. And uh, one of the Singh brothers says that uh, he wants to apologize. Well, they, they both want to apologize to the people of India. And that, you know, they failed uh, Jinder last week. And, you know, it was because of their stupidity and lack of skills that Nakamura got to Jinder last week. And uh, they both make a promise that Nakamura will never touch Jinder again. And uh, they offer to uh, both of them uh, to kiss Jinder's foot. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, Shinsuke Nakamura ends up coming out. You know, he starts to take out uh, Mahal, starts to take out Jinder Mahal. But one of the Singh brothers holds down Nakamura. And uh, one of the Singh brothers and Jinder starts pounding uh, on Nakamura. Randy Orton comes out to make the save. You know, he starts being on Jinder and the Singh brothers. And then Rusev ends up coming in and, you know, just kicking Orton in. And then... Uh, Jinder lays out Nakamura with the Coloss uh, to end the uh, the segment. So it was a uh, okay, decent uh, opening segment. Uh, wasn't uh, perfect or anything. So and then uh, we move on to the first match uh, of the night. It was Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin, you know, Shelton Benjamin returning to the ring, uh, which happy to see him uh, return. Uh, it was him and Chad Gable versus uh, the Jobbers known as the Ascension. So it was an easy win for uh, them. It was an easy win for Gable and Benjamin. Uh, so they won the match, Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. Uh, Shelton still has it. You know, he still has the moves. And, you know, like I said, really happy that, you know, he's back in the ring. Uh, he's a good uh, superstar. He's good in the ring. And I'm happy that he's back. So, but uh, all in all, uh, it was, you know, it was a decent match. Uh, you know, from Shelton Benjamin in it. So. And then uh, after that, we had uh, Renee interviewing Baron Corbin about him losing uh, the Money in the Bank uh, briefcase. Uh, Baron uh, ends up blaming Cena for him losing the Money in the Bank briefcase. And he goes on to say that he's going to cash in on face and styles in the uh, U.S. title open challenge. And he will become uh, the new uh, United States champion. So, we'll interview it. Uh, Baron Corbin. Then uh, AJ Styles comes out uh, saying that he was going to reopen the U.S. Uh, title open challenge to the SmackDown roster. Uh, Ty Dillinger ends up coming out and won and won the challenge, but Baron Corbin ends up coming out, and both him and Ty just start taking out each other and brawling. And uh, you know Baron ends up coming into the ring. Uh, because he took out uh, Dillinger. Uh, so Baron ends up in, coming in the ring. And then Ty just, you know, just starts taking out Baron Corbin. And so then it was just uh, Styles versus uh, Ty Dillinger. And uh, it was a uh, it was a short match. Uh, it was a decent uh, short match. Uh, you know, he just had Ty, you know, going at and then Styles ended up uh, picking up you know, later on in the match. But uh, Styles got the win. He still retains the U.S. title with the calf crusher on Ty Dillinger. 
And then after the match, Baron ends up throwing Ty into the barricade. And uh, he then hits, and then Styles hits Baron with a uh, forearm. And Baron just ends up going uh, crazy outside the ring. You know, kicking the, uh, the steel steps, you know, yelling at the announcers, at the commentators. So, they, all in all, Styles versus, versus Dylan Jury, you know, U.S. title open challenge. It was decent but short. So, and then uh, after that, after that match, we had uh, Rusev and uh, Jinder Mahal in the locker room. Uh, Rusev says to Jinder that tonight uh, is about revenge. And that uh, he goes on to say that uh, Jinder, that Jinder Mahal is not his friend. And that he only came to SmackDown to win the WWE title, the WWE Championship. And he goes on to say to Jinder that after tonight, he's coming for the WWE title. So, there's a little uh, locker room segment uh, with uh, Rusev and Mahal. Then we had... Uh, of course, uh, the next match, Bobby Roode uh, versus Mike Kanellis. Yes, Mike, Mike Kanellis returns after uh, God knows when he's been uh, he's been off TV because I heard that uh, he was he went to uh, like some like some sort of rehab because he was taking like these uh, these uh, medication or something like that. Forgot forgot what it was though that uh, kept him off TV. Uh, I think he was in a like rehabilitation but uh this match it was just an easy win for Bobby Roode Mike Nellis still sucking uh still shin the ring in my opinion that there that uh WWE is making him out to be uh but you know Bobby Roode got the win with the glorious DDT uh nothing to explain for this match though it was just Bobby Roode manhandling uh Canellis. so you know, it was a glorious um, match to see Bobby Roode uh, beat the hell out of Mike Kanellis. So, but uh, all in all, it was it was okay uh, match just for Bobby Roode. So then uh, after that match, Kevin, we saw A and English in the ring just singing. And then Kevin Owens ends up coming out and saying to uh, Aiden that the crowd doesn't appreciate his talent and he tells Aiden to get out of the ring and uh, you know Kevin Owens just goes on to talk about Shane and how Shane screwed him twice and you know he says that one year ago he was crowned US he was crowned Universal Champion and you know now you know a year later he doesn't have a title he doesn't have his US title because uh, Shane screwed him twice and he ends up calling SmackDown, you know, Shane's playground. Uh, because he goes on to say, oh, you know, if I was still on Raw, this would not happen. I would have been champion. You know, Stephanie McMahon, you know, would never, you know, do this to me. You know, would win the title. So, uh, but Shane ends up coming out. And Kevin st and Owen starts complaining that, you know, already Shane has taken away his spotlight. Shane says that he is tired of Owen's complaining. And he tells uh, Aiden to get back in the ring and that Aiden has a match next and it's against Sami Zayn. So, and that's what the next match was. It was Aiden English versus Sami Zayn. And uh, it was a, uh, it was a decent match. Uh, not perfect or great or anything. Uh, but, you know, I really am not liking how the way Sami Zayn is being booked that they're putting Sami Zayn. Uh, in matches with, you know, jobbers, uh, this, you know, Sami Zayn, you know, you know, deserves better. He deserves, uh, better than, you know, going up against jobbers. And we had, uh, for this match, Kevin Owens was on commentary through the match. Uh, he ends up, uh, later on in the match, he gets in the ring and he takes, uh, the referee's, you know, shirt, you know, off and he puts the, uh, the, the ref shirt on him. And pretty much basically, you know, takes control of the match where he hits Sami Zayn with a uh, pop-up powerbomb, giving Aiden English the win. So Aiden English uh, wins the match. 
So, but it was a decent match. Uh, it was okay. Uh, not great or perfect. Uh, and then uh, Renee Young interviews Shane about what happened uh, during that match. Shane tells Renee that the match doesn't really count uh, because Owens uh, interfered in it and, you know, was the referee, you know, was, you know, pretty much taking, you know, the ref out. And uh, Shane goes on to say that it's written, that the win is written out of the record books. And he says that Owens, you know, left, pretty much left the arena. And that is what uh, Shane is doing. Shane was uh, going to leave the arena. So there's a little interview with Shane. Then uh, we had Dolph being interviewed about, you know, what his change will be. And, you know, he starts bringing up, you know, Elias, Stone Cold, Finn Balor. And, you know, he's like, oh, you know, he's just talking about what this change would be. I don't know what direction they're taking uh, Dolph Ziggler, uh, what they're taking with Dolph, you know, uh, giving him a uh, change in his, uh, in his character, his gimmick, you know, what his gimmick will be. I don't know where this is headed, though. But uh, Dolph says, you know, it's gonna, we're going to see next week. Yeah, let's see what happens uh, next week. He'll, he'll still be cutting the same, uh, he'll be still cutting the same, you know, promo on the mic. You know, backstage just describing what his change will be. So. Then after uh, the interview with Dolph, we had the Usos versus uh, the New Day, which was Kofi Kingston and Big E. Uh, Xavier's, you know, was injured, and he he had a sign that said "I'm sore" on it, which was funny. Uh, but the match uh, was uh, decent, uh, really enjoyable. You know, I liken this feud between the Usos and the New Day, and uh, it was a decent match. He had the Usos uh, ended up picking up the win. Uh, with the roll up, so now that the uh, the Usos won, uh, they will now choose a stipulation for uh, them versus the New Day for you know their rematch for the uh, for the SmackDown Tag Team Titles. So it could be uh, anything uh, the Usos choose. Uh, you know, it could be no holds barred. It could be anything. It could be a street fight. Who knows what the Usos. What stipulation the Usos are going to choose. Then after that match, we had James Ellsworth. Uh, you know, pretty much, uh, you know, Carmelo was going to be interviewed. And James Ellsworth just takes over the interview. And, you know, James Ellsworth was like, oh, yeah, what's new, Carmella? And then <laughs> Natalia ends up coming and says that if Carmella catches in the briefcase on her, she's going to make Carmella the Baron Corbin of the uh, women's division. And Natalia goes on to announce that she has a match with her next week. And, you know, Carmella and James Ellsworth walk off. And then Naomi comes and says to Natalia that she's got a diff she's got difficulty uh, for the next two weeks. Because next week, Natalia will be facing Carmella. And then the following week, she will be Natalia will be facing Naomi in a rematch for the SmackDown Women's title. Uh... So, but yeah, it's going to be a rough two weeks for Natalia. So, it was a good uh, segment with them. And then, uh, the next match, it was just Tamina versus uh, a jobber. It was a quick match. You know, Lana just comes out, you know, Lana comes before the match, interviews uh, Tamina. No, not interviews, it brings out uh, Tamina. So, but, uh, it was a short, short match. It was just, you know, squash match, you know, just for them to, uh, you know, to give Tamina some competition, you know, when and if she's prepared to, uh, face, you know, someone who is the, uh, the SmackDown Women's Champion, you know, could be any, you know, Natalia still is the, uh, the SmackDown Women's Champion by the time, you know, Tamina faces somebody for the, uh, the title. So, and then after that, we had a season two of the Fashion Files. 
promo did not give a shit about it. They they really need to stop doing these fashion files things. I'm getting tired of them. Getting so sick and tired of seeing the seeing them. Don't find it entertaining. Don't find it funny. It's just getting old. It's it's getting old with uh, these these segments. Please stop them. Then we had the main event, which was uh, Orton and Nakamura versus Rusev and Mahal, Jinder Mahal. And it was a pretty good main event. Uh, it was very entertaining. Uh, with uh, Orton and uh, Nakamura just uh, taking out Rusev and Mahal and Jinder Mahal. Uh, he had uh, the end of the match, uh, Nakamura hitting the uh, Kinya, the Kin Sach. The Kinyasha, I can't pronounce it, uh, always mispronounce it, the Kinyasha, I think that's what you call it. Uh, he hits it on Rusev uh, for him and Orton to score the win. So, but it was an entertaining main event, it was a good main event. Uh, really liked it, really enjoyed it. Then after the match, uh, you know, Orton and Nakamura are in there. And from out of nowhere, Orton just hits an RKO on Nakamura to end the show. Uh, didn't expect that. Didn't expect Orton to hit the RKO on Nakamura. So, but it was a good main event. I really, really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed the main event. So, yes, yeah, so anyways, that's it for my review of tonight's edition of SmackDown. Thank you all for watching. And until next video, which will be my uh, Lucha on the Ground uh, review tomorrow night. So until tomorrow night, I'll see you all back tomorrow night for that review. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Bye.